as many of you guys uh, know, or if you were here last week, and we also put it back out through the email, Brent has been uh, part of our church, him and Leslie and their family for the last couple years. Brent's been part of a mentorship program, has been serving as a leader in our church as an elder, but also has been going through studies to be a pastor. And the elders uh, believe that through his experience and his heart and his, uh, his studies that we 100% affirm him as a pastor and within the ministry and the calling of a pastor and everything that tells within it. And we have, uh, all dis- have decided to license Brent as the associate pastor of our church. And I am greatly pleased to be able to do so and humble to be able to be a part of that as well. So I'm going to ask Brent to come forward with his wife. And you can bring whoever else you want with you. Uh, Ginger, if I can borrow you. Steve, if I can borrow you. Steve has uh, been a strong mentor with Brent as well in our eldership over the years. And, and then, cool, I saw you and your wife come back. I think you like these guys enough to come forward, don't you? Come on. And anybody else who wants to pray over them as well. And just to make it awkward, we'll make him hold this the entire time. <laughs> But if you'd like to pray over Brent as well, we'll just bring everybody up together. Pray over him as we commission him into the ministry message of Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you First and foremost, for my brother and my sister, who we love dearly. Their friendship, their support, encouragement, the way that they gently shape others' lives, including my own. Their words and their heart and their emotions and their actions, Father, have been a true blessing to us as friends and as family. I thank you for their leadership within our church through the women's ministry, through eldership, through his incredible work here with just the resources, Father, with the building and the leadership of the guys, for the amount of time that he volunteers into that that he never speaks about. For his devotion to be going through a rigorous education program through your word, and through study and through mentorship to follow what you put on his heart several years ago that we see coming to an acknowledgement to a defining moment today. So Father, we just pray that as you have called him that you anoint him in this moment. As the associate pastor in this church, as a godly husband and a godly father, that Jesus refresh and renew that anointing right now in this moment, Lord. That you give them a strong period, Father, and a strong foundation to be able to do the ministry and the rigors and the challenges that come with it as well as the enjoyment and the testimonies that they will see and continue to see in their lives. I pray you prepare him as he continues to lean into preaching the gospel message of Jesus Christ as he continues to move forward in some new areas as far as pastoral counseling, weddings, ministering to families going through grief when it comes to time to say goodbye to a loved one until we see them again. As you continue to make a strong foundation on the example that he lives in front of us. And we are honored and we are humbled and we are privileged that you allow him to be here with us during this season. You're a good God, a loving God. Thank you for these folks that say yes to following you. Put your hands upon and bless my brother, Pastor Brent Longstreth, his beautiful bride, and their wonderful children, and the ministry you've called them to. And we pray these things according to your son's precious name, through your confirmation and your truth. Amen. Thank you, guys.